to a new video in today's video we're going to be doing a set of blue snowflakey bauble nails using these icy bauble water decals from nail sugar you can save 10 percent on these using my code natmog10 i love them so much i've chosen three colors so i've got take me to mykonos matty and perfect white so we've got a dark blue a slightly lighter blue and a white we're going to ombre these but we're not using the old sponge method today we're going to use the ombre brush method so you're going to put your colours onto... Right, obviously you're going to prep your nails and add your base coat. But I'm just going straight into the tip. So I'm going to add my darker colour to the top. I should have added a little bit more than I did. But I do the next coat, I add a little bit more. And um, the, the darker blue goes further down the nail. But I'm going to add my darker blue. Then I'm going to add some of the lighter blue. And then I'm going to add the white. And then we're going to take our Madame Glam ombre brush. I use mine all the time for loads of things. I love it so much. Um, some people I've seen run it a little bit of base coat through theirs before they do that ombre, so I thought I'd give that a go. I don't know if it made much of a difference, but, I, you know, I tried it. So I'm going to flick the ombre brush backwards and forwards through the colours so that they blend. Now, I'm not too fussed on this set whether the, the blend is perfect or not. In fact, I kind of want a little bit of... Like, if you can see lines, I'm not too worried because, to me, it looks a bit like the sky and the snow. Like, the sky meets the snow. So, if there is a little bit of, you know, lines and it's not blended perfectly, don't worry too much. Unless you want it perfect, then just keep flicking. <laughs> Sounds weird. Just keep, yeah, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just keep doing that until you're happy with the blend. Honestly though, if you want it to be perfect, use a sponge because that method is so much easier to get a perfect ombre. And you want to do two nails like this. So here are my two nails. You can see on my second nail, the blue goes further down. But we're going to do two coats. See, look, I bring the blue even further down on this nail. So you basically just repeat the same process as before. And your first coat, I always say this when I do, when I used to do a... Uh, an ombre with the brush your first coat doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go in with a second coat it's your second coat that you want to get perfect because that's what people are going to people are going to see that coat more because obviously it's on the top if that makes sense um so yeah so again i'm just moving my brush horizontally through the through the colors and i will bring my brush down through the lighter blue and into the white if i feel like i've got too much product on my brush i will wipe it off between a, a lint free wipe and then i'll go back into my my blend but once i'm happy i'm going to shove that in the lamp and then i will do the same on the second one now because we're adding glitter i like to remove the tacky layer because there's usually like 9.8 times out of 10 there is pigment on from the tacky layer um and if once i've added the base coat sometimes the pigment will blend with the base coat and sometimes if i get the base coat over the top of the glitter the pigment will cover the glitter and it will it kind of hinders the look of the glitter i think i'm making sense but the glitter i'm using is called um cold snap this is one of the new glitters from nail sugar oh, i absolutely love these glitters so for this one I'm just going to add a small sprinkling of glitter. I don't want to fully cover the nail. I just want a bit of a scattering. And once I've got like the little bits of glitter where I want them like this, I can cure that in the lamp and that will keep that glitter into place. We've done the same on the second one. These two nails are virtu virtually like identical apart from we do a slightly different snowflake on the second one. So I'm going to go over these with the velvet matte top coat. Because this glitter isn't holographic, this one is metallic. So metallic glitters look really nice, whether they're shiny or matte. I, that's the good thing about metallics, is they look nice whichever kind of top coat you use. So I'm going to matte them and then, yeah, pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. Do the same on the second one. Oh, look at them. And then we're going to draw on a snowflake. A snowflake. So, we're going to do these quite big. The bigger they are, 
the easier they are. Yeah, in my opinion. So we're gonna make them huge. So I always start with a cross and then I will do a diagonal cross. Um, the uh, real snowflakes in the real world only have six arms, I'm pretty sure. They only have six little arms coming out. Mine usually have eight because I find eight easier to do in terms of getting the distance between each of the lines the same. It's just a lot easier. So I've done little triangles between my lines and then I'm going to put my brush into my product and there'll be like a little blob of product on the end and I kind of press that down and sort of bring the curve round. Push it down and bring it, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I'm doing? Down and woo, down and woo. I can't really explain it, I'm so rubbish. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The good thing about YouTube videos is you can actually watch and see what someone's doing. If, if you had to listen to me giving, if I had to give you verbal instructions on how to paint the nail, I reckon the nail would look totally different to what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be so terrible. Anyway, look, we've done that on four, and then I decided to do the same thing on all eight of the arms. And then I'm using my dotting tool, and I'm just gonna add some dots, one in the middle, and one on the end of each of the triangles here. And then I also added a little dollop down there. We're gonna do like a little, a little star or something. It could be, yeah, it's probably gonna be a star. And then you can do little vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal, no, diagonal lines as well. And then if you want to, you could add some more dots to make some snow or some stars. We, I'm going to make add some more to make it more snowy. <coughs> there we go. And then because this is gel paint, this will need 60 seconds in an LED lamp. But Madame Glam gel paints don't have a tacky layer. Um, so you don't have to re-top coat these, you can just, that was them done. I've done a slightly different snowflake on the other one. I don't like it as much, but there we go. Right, on this next nail, I'm doing a coat of perfect white. I'm pretty sure this is perfect white. Or oh, I'm doing it on both of them, actually. I can't remember. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, two coats. I know what I'm doing now. I was just trying to, I've totally forgot what the set looked like. Yeah, two coats of white on two nails. Right, and you want to do two layers, two layers on two nails. And then we're going to pick out the, the design of the bauble we want. I wanted the ones that look like they had snowflakes on. So I'm going to cut around these, remove all the excess. You literally only want the design. And then grab your stamper, put your decal upside down on your stamper, grab some water and just, I just dip in an old brush. And then you just damp the back. And then after like about 15 seconds, the back should just slide off and you can stamp it where you want it. I wanted to put these slightly off center. I don't think this one was slightly off center enough and it just looked like I'd accidentally missed the middle. This one I'm gonna put in a slightly different place. This one is a bit higher up. And then I'm gonna add velvet matte top coat to these as well. I feel like I'm going all out matte this winter, just I feel like actually my whole life is, is matte nails. <laughs> I just love matte nails. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Once you've top coated them, pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then this is the Snow Fairy Crystal Mix from Crystal Braid. It's got some, it's actually Preciosa Crystals, but I believe the little snowflakes are Zodiac shapes, I think. But we're going to use our Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. You can get the crystals and the Crystal Fix from Crystal Braid. And you can save 10% using my code NatMog10. Um, but I'll, yeah, all the websites and discount codes I'll leave below anyway for you. I always say that at the end of the video. But I've added a little bit of crystal fix. And I decided that I was going to do a crystal, a caviar bead, a crystal, a caviar bead, a crystal, a caviar bead. Until I got all the way to the top. And I'm trying to use a different colour of each of the crystals that is in the crystal mix. So there's some really nice, there's, it's, yeah, I just thought these colours went really well with this. The colours of the crystals went really well with the colours in the set. So it looks like they're dangling. I'm going to do the same on this one. It's going to be slightly longer. 
and then I decided the crystal fix by the way needs a 60 second cure I decided to add what looked like some little um, I don't know like little garland type things so it's just the the Madame Glam gel paint or no not I want to say streamers but that's not I don't think that's right just we, look just do some curved lines and then what I actually done was I actually stuck a couple of crystals in this uncured gel but if you're going to do this on a client you will need to add to it, adhere the nails with crystal fix <laughs> i've done the same on the other one and this is them finished i hope you like them <laughs> if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads websites and discount codes will be below god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye